Hey there, everybody. Let's have a look at uh, Mantecal Opsheets. Uh, very first thing you want to do when you're playing TCS and you're using all the rules is to construct. Construct. Um, this is the second time I've started this video, and it's also the second time I've said the word construct instead of construct. I wonder what my mind is thinking. Uh, so what we need to do is build the op sheets, and your op sheets are going to give each of your battalion-sized uh, formations a uh, set of goals and objectives and a time frame to conduct, conduct them in, and then also the uh, what will happen if you fail. In this particular scenario, it's pretty interesting, a little bit more different than uh, your typical uh, TCS uh, jungle-based Pacific uh, theater scenario, which is typically uh, the, the Marines on the defense. This here, we have a meeting engagement, and uh, so we'll, we'll get to have a little bit of fun with that. Uh, both sides are on the attack uh, <clears throat> in general, and the, the village of Matakao and the river uh, what define the overall objectives for most of the scenarios uh, uh, in the game. Um, in this particular instance, the uh, four to the fourth regiment, second division, the center Kai chaps. Uh, this battalion here, uh, first battalion, is uh, is really situated such that they're going to be trying to acquire uh, control over. Let's move this over here a little bit so you can see. Uh, acquire control of the government trail or this track or road equivalent on the map. And uh, I, when I play solo, I like to do two plans and then just roll the die and pick one. And that kind of keeps it uh, somewhat uh, random for both sides uh, and uh, also prevents me from building a plan for the other side that will preempt uh, the, the, you know, preempt one of the plans. So uh, the two plans that I have, uh, the first is a uh, attack. No, th these guys are on the attack here as well. Uh, so they uh, will advance just along to the river line and then take up, hopefully uh, build a uh, def defense op sheet and be in prepared positions along here. The second op plan has them actually advancing down the road and taking up positions along the jungle edge uh, looking to get some flanking fire on this this battalion to the right here that's coming onto the board, uh, so that so both of those are relatively the same but different positions and and different things are going to happen based on the timing of where the the Japanese get to here, how fast the Americans advance and knock out this company that's kind of in a delaying mode. Uh, historically, they were so, they were cut off and then attacked into the rear of. Uh, the, the Marines, but were wiped out. All right, so further down along the, the Manica River, there's this bridge here called the Log Bridge, which I think in uh, historically was called the Nippon Bridge. I'm not sure, but I think that's the, the only other major bridge on this map. <laughs> Excuse me. So uh, this battalion from... Um, uh, from the 4-2 here. Let's see, what is that again? I think that's the 3rd Battalion. That's the 3rd Battalion, yeah. And we've tasked them in the two different options. Uh, one, uh, capturing the bridge and holding this area and using uh, just two companies. Uh, and then the rest, uh, Company 11 and 12, will uh, cycle up to Hill 75 and take up positions there. The second plan has them taking uh, the entire battalion and advancing to Hill 67 and trying to build a perimeter around the VP location. Now, there are two uh, or three <coughs> victory point locations on the map. One is the bridge worth five, the village worth 20, and the trail over here worth 10. And you have to occupy or control all of the hexes on the trail to get the 10 points, which means if you don't control one, then you don't control them all. Uh, so therefore you don't get the points. So um, I've built both the plans around trying to either maximize the number of points that the Japanese player can accrue or preventing points from being accrued by either you know holding this bridge as long as possible or keeping one road hex as the case may be. All right, in the background, we've got basically a reserve battalion here that in uh, either instance will... Uh, 
uh, in one instance will come this way and support a more robust attack through to hill 67 down here and uh, in the second plan where we're just we're just trying to hold onto the log bridge or delay on the log bridge they go this way and then come and reinforce Manical and put everything pretty much into a defense uh, of Manical. The 29, uh, 29th uh, Regiment, this battalion here, is on defense orders. And so we're telling them to defend the Manical village. Clearly, just they can't, they, they start in this location and with your op sheet, you just say, okay, I want them to defend the village. And so you pop them down there. We're gonna cross attach some of the infantry guns that are here, the 75 millimeter infantry guns, and we'll allocate one or two of those to them and pop them in the village. And that should give them a nice strong dug in uh, situation to uh, try and hold on to the village. So we're gonna have a lot of action around here. All right, so that's the two primary uh, overviews of the two plans for the Japanese. Uh, we're gonna roll the die, odds it's gonna be plan one, evens plan two, and we'll go for it from there. And we'll do the same thing for the Americans. We'll come back and talk about the Americans uh, in a minute.